Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg. We're going to do another lift capacity test video today. We were going through our videos and realized the one we were missing was for the Kubota B series today. So we're going to knock that out real quick. Um, we've done plenty of those lift capacity videos in the past on the L's and the BX's, but today we're going to show off the B series with the Kubota LA435 loader. Again, your loader numbers on your loader arm, you know, where it says the LA435 stands for loader arms. 435 kilograms of lift capacity. So what this tractor and loader is rated for, and this would be for the B2601, B2301, or B2401, same loader on all models, you're rated at about 950 pounds of lift capacity at your back pivot pin, which means if you were picking up all the weight directly over these pins right here, you could pick up about 950 pounds. 20 inches forward of that, so where we have the majority of our weight situated, it is rated for 659, we'll call it 660 pounds of lift capacity. Um, so that's all this loader is rated for going forward. So we're going to test that out today. We're going to see what its max is, uh, mainly just picking up off the ground. So if you're going to be picking up a large rock, a big stump, a lot of logs, what you could actually pick up off the ground. Right now, with the pallet forks, these are the Land Pride PFL 1242s. They weigh about 220 pounds. I've got a giant front tractor weight here that weighs 230 pounds, two 55 pound weights and a 100 pound weight. We're at 660 pounds of weight on the front of this tractor. Just a little bit more because of the pallet. But we're gonna call it 660, which was what it's rated for lift capacity. So Chris is gonna fire it up. He's gonna take it to 540 RPMs. So it's at basically almost full throttle and we're gonna test to see how it lifts. So Chris, go ahead. Nice. So it'll do what it's rated at pretty easily, pretty smoothly. Now, I will mention we do have counterbalanced on the back of the tractor. We've got a 530 pound Land Pride Disc Harrow. Um, these tires actually aren't fluid filled. I didn't have time today to fluid fill them before filming this video, um, and so they're not fluid filled. We always recommend fluid fill your rear tires when maxing out lift, but that's why I've got the heavy disc harrow sitting on the back for counterbalanced. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more weight to it. We're probably just going to go ahead and notch it right up to that 950 pounds, which again, remember that is what it's rated for back here. Not where I'm putting all the weight because the further forward you get, the more difficult it is to lift. So we're going to grab those weights. We're going to load them on here. Probably add 300 more pounds real quick. And we're going to test that up and see how high we can pick it up off the ground. Now, lowering these loaders is always, as Chris has fun, is always sketchy. It's a lot smoother, slower on the way up. As soon as you go to relieve that pressure, that valve opens up. It does get jerky, and you'll see those rear tires kind of bounce off the ground a little bit. So be cautious as you guys are picking up heavy loads. So 200 more pounds here. Watch your fingers. And one more will take us right to around 950, 960 pounds. Now you can see we're probably 28, 32 inches in front of the uh, recommended lift capacity for this. So technically, according to Kubota standards, it should basically fail, but I doubt it'll do that. So Chris, fire it up. So about four feet off the ground and then it stopped. So if you needed to pick up a pallet of let's say a thousand pounds of material, remember calculating the uh, weight of the pallet forks, you could pick up a pallet of let's say 800 pounds of material 
pick it up, set it in something, potentially set it in the bed of a truck or set it on a trailer. So I'm gonna add another 100 pounds and then I'm gonna stand on it, which should add another 275 pounds roughly. Which should bring the total up to, hopefully my videographer will do the calculations, mental math real quick, 275 plus 960, 1,200 and something maybe, I don't know. It's been a long day. So I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna stand on this weight, and we're gonna see how high it'll pick up. So this is definitely rated way higher than it should be going, but we're gonna give it a shot. Well, I might have to scrounge up some more weight. Did you max out there, Chris, or was it just uh, you were worried about me? Aw, yep. that's sweet. I'm gonna grab a little bit more weight and we're gonna keep on going. All right, so in the break where I loaded weights, I calculated I was at 1,235 pounds of weight that it just successfully picked up. So added two more 100 pound plates on there, which should take us up to 1,435 pounds, which where the weight is situated is almost three times what it's rated for according to Kubota specs. So again, when you read those specs, take it with a grain of salt. So Chris, let's see if it goes off the cups of the ground. So it looks like 1435 was a little much, so 1335 is what I'll call today's lift capacity as picking a material up off the ground in more of a real world scenario, having a pallet of material or something very heavy on the end of your pallet fork. So guys, that's it. That's your lift capacity of the LA435 loader on a Kubota B-Series, which for a compact tractor is pretty impressive. <laughs>